Hello everyone, welcome back to Technology Moments, this is Alan, and as you may have seen, we have created many videos in which there is one common tool that we have found to be very useful, and today we want to share exactly that with you, specifically for today's purpose, which is upgrading the system disk of any given computer for a bigger one, and over the months, always people have asked which tools we use and which ones we recommend, from cloning to fixing corrupt boot partitions and to online backups and synchronization tools among networks, there are many alternatives for data configuration and preservation. Hard disk wipe, for example, is a more relevant than ever tool. We have used several years and strongly recommend the tools from AOMI. Well, particularly two that we have used, AOMI Backupper and its fantastic partition manager, which is the center of today's video. Once you've used them, you'll see that they share some functionality, but still there are core differences that make each of them worth getting. You can create and change partitions from micro SDs or specific devices, which as you may know, is not so easy with the Windows Disk Manager. But on today's example, we're gonna be migrating my Windows system to a brand new NVMe 2.0, this fantastic Acer FA200, which by the way has an outstanding performance and we invite you to watch our video where we put it to the test and ended up strongly recommending it. Theoretical 7200 megabyte per second, you'll see it in our video with our tests, low power consumption, of course PS5 compatible and much more. Okay, so AOMI products, we have continuously recommended them and about this I want to be absolutely clear, we strongly recommend brands that offer complete functionality through free versions of their programs. Sure, they can be and are in fact quite limited, but have what most people need. Also, it is very important for us to recommend programs with option of lifetime licensing. That being said, there are many options that you're gonna have either if you just want to transfer your information from your older hard drive, alternative that we opted for. It is very important to note right here that you can use AOMI Partition Assistant to clone the hard drive as it is being used by Windows. This hot cloning you can do it to any other drive. You can choose to connect it to a USB enclosure, an expansion PCI card, or a free NVMe slot. If I just wanted to prepare this drive for storage, I would have just initialized it and created a new partition. It will be ready in a matter of seconds. We have seen in our previous videos USB Type-C adapters for NVMEs and even M.2 SATA drives that now may be an alternative that many may be looking for as such drives are reaching their end of life. Even transferring your system to a brand new computer, option that by the way Windows has made a lot easier nowadays, and as a matter of fact is one of the reasons why many opt for cloning drives. Say for example that you're gonna migrate to a newer hardware, motherboard, processor, and you might not want to risk everything, so you can clone your hard drive and just make the older system boot from that other drive. Not the most technical way to do it, but as I said, it works easier than ever. At the most, you might have to reactivate your Windows license. By the way, when cloning, your data is intact while you test. Big advantage. A second option for cloning NVMEs are these fantastic PCI Express cards that, as we said many times, work in even older computers, featuring PCI Express slots. If for any reason you're cloning, transferring, and fixing older systems using AOMI Partition Assistant, you can always use these docking stations, of which also we have made many tests and videos in the past, and also a lot of people have asked which one is the software that we use. Here, the answer to those questions. Migrating from older SSD to a brand new NVMe is also an option that these docking stations provide you with. So I connected the new NVMe to one of my internal ports. I could have done it with the USB enclosures, as I said, but at this point, I wanted to test how fast this NVMe was. Turns out, very. I could have used the PCI Express card and the most convenient way, a USB NVMe enclosure. Once the cloning is completed, a process that of course depends on the speed of both drives and the amount of data in the source disk, you can extract the clone drive and bring it to the newer system. If the hardware is different, it'll take a few minutes to install the necessary drivers and boot back up again. We have recommended again and again partitioning programs and tools as well as hardware for this process and continue to do so after having cloned drives, expand dynamic disks, format any media to the file system that you specifically need virtualize machines, and much more. Many questions over the years, and right here with this video, the answer to such questions. Something that may be very handy for many of us is that you can also wipe out completely disks, safely deleting all the information in them. If you don't have much experience with digital information stored on hard drives, USBs, and NVMEs, please remember that deleting from Windows 
does not completely delete the information from disks and may leave you vulnerable to data extraction after giving away your older hardware. Ok guys, hope this video was as informative as it was intended. Remember that as always your kind support, liking this video and subscribing to our channel. See you next time.